Hey guys, I'm at Walmart picking up some plain salt to sprinkle on my carpets with baking soda to tackle my flea infestation. So I'm gonna show you how it's done. Once I get home, I just literally dump the salt and the baking soda into my food processor. You could use maybe a blender or something if you don't have a food processor, I'm not really sure. And I combine them. I read online that it's important to combine them and the food processor is the way to go. You can see there's some dust, but no dust compared to the first round I did into our carpets was, man, it's really dusty in the, in the camera view and it's not dusty at all that I can see. I have two helpers. I think because I've got my camera on flash. You can see I already have, I did this last night. This is the salt and baking soda mixture. And then I just squeeze an arm up or food process them up to mix them. And just run it long enough so that, you know, it's, it's properly mixed. And someone also said that it's important, like, so that the salt is fine. You can see there's a little bit of dust there. That's just enough right there. I found that basically doing this four times gives me enough to do my whole house. So that's what I do. And I dump it into... Man, there's a lot more dust that I am aware of um, than I was aware of last night when I was doing this. So having it in this bowl, then I just take like a little strainer thing that you would use to like powder sugar or cake or something, and then I sprinkle it on the carpet. So for example, if I just wanted to sprinkle this area right here, you can just do that. And then the great thing about this stuff is you can just rub your hand over it to make it fall onto the carpet. Man, look at all those dust particles that I didn't know were happening last night. I tried both salt and baking soda and diatomaceous earth. And salt and baking soda I like so much more because as you can see, the salt will easily fall down into the cracks of the carpet where the flea eggs and larvae are. And it's heavy enough to do that. And when you do this, when you, you know, smooth it down, there isn't like a huge dust storm that happens. When I did the diatomaceous earth, you are also supposed to use a broom to sweep it into the rug. And it created a massive dust storm, which was not good for the cats or for the humans to be breathing in in my house. And this is just like way, it's so much nicer. And then I was reading, because I have read so much about how to tackle fleas naturally, that by putting the baking soda down, you're also going to neutralize odors and like kind of clean your carpets, which is cool too. So it's like killing two birds with one stone. And then I go ahead and douse my furniture too. I mean, I know it looks horrible, but I can vacuum all this off. It's all dry and the cats have no problem laying on top of it and they're not licking it. They don't have any interest in it and they're not offended by it. It's not like drying out their coats or anything like that. Trick slept on this the majority of the day today. So it's a great way to do it safely. And then I put it along the edges the entire way as well. And with that little strainer, all you do is you, you can hit the side of the wall and just that little vibration there sprinkles just enough to get in the edges. And that was one of the cool things too. They are talking about hardwood floors, like how fleas can get in the cracks and stuff like that. That's, you know, all going to fall into the cracks and that's why you want to mix it in a food processor so that it will be that really fine consistency that will drop in between those little cracks right there. So here is my eight pounds of flea killing goodness that fills up a whole mixing bowl. And I will use this over my entire house, carpet, upholstery, etc., to get rid of those little menaces. So in addition to treating your house with the salt and baking soda, 
and even like their cat tree. I put salt and baking soda on every level of this. I am filming this a month later. So we are now flea free and have been for some time. I wanted to make sure we were flea free and had been for some time before I filmed this because I watched so many YouTube videos trying to get to the bottom of my flea situation and I wish I would have had something like this to watch. So after you have treated your carpets, then you have to treat your cats. I use both uh, diatomaceous earth on my cats, but the one thing that actually got rid of fleas altogether was garlic. So what I did was I bought number four gel caps. I minced up some fresh garlic and then put it in these gel caps and I gave it to Charlie. You guys know that I use Pam of Perfectly Holistic to do muscle testing and help me out with my cats. She muscle tested that Charlie needed three doses of the garlic, like for three weeks or something like that. I did Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, the first week, and then Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, the next week, and then Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, the following week. But literally, I could not find fleas on Charlie after the first dose. Now, there is talk in the pet community that garlic is toxic for cats, but I had watched watched a video by Dr. Judy Morgan, um, who's a holistic veterinarian, and also read a post on her Facebook page. I'll include links to both of those in the about section below, where she said, you know, you'd, you'd literally have to have like a bulb of garlic in order to, you know, really make it hurt your cat. I, I was fed up. Like, I was like, I am done with these fleas. Like, they're biting my cats. I can't get rid of them. You know, the, the fleas can cause anemia, so can garlic. But garlic, you'd have to give bulbs and bulbs and bulbs of garlic. And this is this is a tiny amount. This is like a pinch of garlic. And I actually just made a bunch of them and I put them in the freezer and keep them in the freezer until I give him one. And I haven't given him one for a couple of weeks now. He's not gonna really care about this, but. I never had to give him to Trig. The fleas were off of Trig for some reason. You know, sometimes a raw fed cat, they just aren't interested in. But Charlie is like a magnet for fleas. And so um, this, this did the trick. So this and baking soda and salt will be what I start with next time. I I tried Wonderside Flea X by the two crazy cat ladies. I mean, I was spraying it all the time and it really upset Trig. Like he ended up having a lot, you know, he had to like detox from all the sprays that I did. I did diatomaceous earth on the inside. I did diatomaceous earth on the outside. I did it on my cats. I did nematodes outside. I'll probably still do nematodes outside because I think it was the raccoons living in my tree that brought fleas. But literally, this and salt and baking soda were the only thing that finally got rid of it. So that's what we'll be doing next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. And please let me know what your natural flea tricks are below in the comments. Bye.